You're welcome. I'd like to call the Delaware County Commissioner's meeting to order. It is Monday, July 19th, 2021. Time is 9.03. If everybody could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Steve, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Henry. Here. Ms. Reagan. Present. Mr. King. Here. Mr. Brooke. Here. First up, we have a public hearing, public hearing for a proposal to transfer of county-owned rural property to a nonprofit. Commissioners, good morning. <clears throat> I'm Brad Bookout with Delaware County Economic Development. Uh, this particular piece of property has an opportunity for redevelopment. It's the former Hilltop Hotel property and uh, it's in cooperation with Delaware County uh, Veterans Affairs Department so I'm happy to answer any questions you have okay have any comments from the public anybody for or against if not I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing so move second I have a motion a second Steve can you call the roll please Mr. Reagan yes Mr. Henry yes Mr. King yes Next, we'll move to tabled business ordinance amending Title IV of the Delaware County Code regarding Chapter 2 permit fees for solar farms, solar installation, and floodplain development. Marta? Yeah. Marta Moody, Planning Commission Office. And I've started doing some research to uh, do an amendment for you along the lines of what uh, Mr. Henry had suggested. I haven't gotten a, a final proposal for you yet so it could stay on the table. But I, in, in this research I've been doing, I have found um, that there were, I ran into several, I don't know, maybe four out of 10 or whatever, where uh, the permit fee schedule includes an automatic um, transfer of either a flat fee or a percentage of the fees going into being quietest into the unsafe building fund and so I if you're interested in that idea I think it would be a wonderful idea because as you know especially Shannon and Sherry um, you you run into a lot of properties that need a lot of help either clean up demolition or whatever and we just don't have that much money in the unsafe building fund, so that would help that. If you're interested in that idea, I can build that into I, the. I think that's a great it. idea. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Good deal. Thanks. Thank All you. Right. We'll just keep that tabled, and then we'll uh, move on for approval of minutes for uh, July 6, 2021. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. I have a motion. And second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Henry. Yes. Miss Reagan. Abstain. Mr. King. Yes. Next, we have contracts and agreements for approval. Municipal Advisory Services, Meadow Forge Solar Project. Mr. Bookout. Uh, good morning, Commissioners. Brad Bookout again. Uh, this is a uh, an agreement from Baker Tilly Municipal Advisory Services uh, for financial services related to the county's uh, participation in any particular solar project. Um, this states on here specifically for Meadow Forge Solar, but I'd like you to consider uh, your motion to encompass any solar project so we can only do this this once. And not to exceed $40,000. Yes. All right, move we adopt. I'll second the adoption with the um, stipulation that's going to be for all. For all. Thank you. I have a motion and a second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have ordinance for first reading, ordinance number 2021-024, an ordinance of Delaware County, Indiana, creating a fund for the deposit of funds received by the Delaware County Sheriff's Department from the U.S. Department of Justice, Edward Byrne Memorial JAG Program Grant. Uh, Nancy, I believe this is, we do this every year, don't we? We do. you get um, this. Nancy Marvin, Delaware County Sheriff's Office. Uh, yeah, we we don't know anything about how much we're going to get until the check actually arrives, which I do happen to have it. Um, 
we just need to ask you to waive the rules so that we can go ahead and get this adopted in and I can get the check deposited. I hate hanging on to it. <laughs> okay. I'll make a motion we introduce the ordinance. Second. Second. I have a motion for introduction. Steve, can you call the roll? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. I'll make a motion we suspend the rules. Second. I have a motion for suspension of the rules. And a second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. I make a motion we adopt the ordinance for the JAG grant. Second. I have a motion for adoption and a second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Um, also, just real quick, we would also like to have your permission to apply for some funds to help us pay for some equipment for the bomb team, as well as some assistance in getting more vests for the officers to help. I know that those are the rules we should ask you before applying, so we're hoping you'll give us your blessing for that. I'm good. Sound good. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Jenny, on Ordinance 2021-024, I sent you an amendment last night. Uh, I had Shannon as president, and I used an old form, so okay. there should be a new one with James as the president, so I apologize for that. Okay. Next, we have resolutions for approval. Resolution number 2021-028, a resolution of the Delaware County Indiana Board of Commissioners making a final determination to transfer county-owned real property to a non-profit. I make a motion we approve the resolution. I, I um, did have a question. Um, the Veterans Foundation, are they going to be headquartered here? They put down on the application 100 West Main Street. That is... Could be the Veterans Affairs Office, isn't it? Yes, I'm. I, I, they're not going to be headquartered at the Hilltop Hotel, former yeah. Hilltop right. Hotel Second. location. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next, we have department heads and elected officials. Anybody have any information? Anyone want to speak? I do want to answer a couple of questions that uh, was posted on a social media account. Uh, there was a uh, city councilman that was asking about the road paving out around uh, the new Justice Center. Uh, the road paving will be begin as soon as the trails are done. Uh, you don't want to start paving roadways when you still have heavy equipment out. Uh, we just got the rebar in, I believe, Brad, for the bridges. So when the bridges are completed out there, then our county highway department, uh, Tommy, you guys know to start the paving out there in that area. But we will not pave the roads until all that heavy equipment is gone because you don't want to destroy the roads with heavy equipment going out there. So just to let them know that, yes, the road paving and everything's going to go on out there. Uh, also, uh, asked about uh, the park that they have out there that we said we would help them in, in some way. Uh, we have not received any plans for us. I know Brad from the city uh, on the park, uh, no uh, any type of funding that they would need for the park. And I believe that the, the land's just optioned by the city right now, correct? They haven't bought it. Yeah, I don't know for sure their, their, their purchase or option status right now, but I do know that a request for proposals for consultants was just issued to start looking into the park and the land and how that would be developed. So there's, I know there are some steps that need to happen I, with I, that, and there's not, a, there's not a concrete pricing or bidding or quotes or anything like that, I not, was, not a plan. Yeah, I know it was posted on social media. And he said some of his constituents had reached out to him. I just want people to understand that as soon as – the trail work is completed out there then we'll get started on paving the roads but i know we're going to have some of the heavy cement trucks going down through there and some other equipment and i don't want to have the roads paved and i don't want to have the roads marked 
just to be messed up in some way with the heavy equipment. So, yes, the roads will be paved out there, and yes, we do plan on, as soon as the city gets some information back on the park, and assisting them with that. So, thanks, Thank Brad. you. Thank you. If we don't have anything else, commissioners, you received your reports for weights and measures? Yep. We'll move to payment of claims in the amount of $2,421,000. $949.51. And so move. Second. I have a motion and second. Steve, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Henry. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Jenny, did we have anybody that signed up? John, do you have anything that you've answered? No. I entertain a motion to recess. So move. Second. <clears throat> Steve, can you call the roll? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. In recess.